Okay, I just did the Aquarius career reading. It seemed like air signs want to know about work stuff more than love stuff. But <clears throat> I want to still do um, Aquarius singles reading. And the thing that I forgot to mention was... Um, there were all these cars looking in the past... And what that was, was Pluto retrograde coming in May. Okay. And what I felt like that was any kind of entanglements that happened in the past, there was a chance to kind of reassess those energies and kind of knock it out of the ballpark. Um, you know, like uh, bowling pins. <laughs> <laughs> or something knocking it out so that you can uh, move at a faster pace into the future okay like you want okay not feeling tied down to any kind of energies okay and it was like uh, trying to close the gap of shadow okay and so now if that relates to you then that could have been the reason why there was a little bit of delay in love. But it doesn't mean that it's not coming. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look. All right, Heron. Reflection. Ooh, butterfly was coming out in your reading. Okay, and it was coming out of like Scorpio, um, a skeleton. Okay, so, uh, so that could have represented Pluto also. Okay, but Firefly and Eagle. Ooh, that came up in another reading where there was like, it was Eagle and Firefly and something else. Who did I use these cards for? Was it Pisces? So you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces. I think that's what it was. Okay. But now in the reading I just did, it was about raising your own energy so that you're not an energetic match to something unwanted. And also it was going to improve your outcome. So reflection, manifestation, and brilliance. Okay, so that was going to bring you into this high energy. Okay. Woo! See, now this was coming out in the reading a lot for the career reading. So, I feel like you're coming into your own, like, and, and being more confident and courage, moving in courage. Okay. So, now, you might do this pose. It might help, uh, like, flow the spine, I've been seeing doves every day. They've been in the yard all around. Open heart. Okay, so that's the key to your success is opening the heart. Okay, so now there are, you could do chair yoga, heart openers, right? Um, to really pull the shoulders back and kind of uh, let that heart energy emanate. Partridge in a pear tree. Okay, but what I'm getting with that is um, family. You have a big supporting system. Okay, so you're bringing in something new, blooming. Okay. Right, so it's like two birds that flock together okay now cat cows right that might be nice okay now let's talk about what's in Taurus mercury retrograde is in Taurus so if some words came out and you didn't mean that or it came out a little bit or it was picked up in a different way you can always go back and can't take back the things you said but you can 
bring in the improvement of it, right? And clarify through one-on-one -on -one or phone conversations or, um, yeah, I, it w was coming up yesterday was instead of texting where there could be things read in between the line, it was like really connecting uh, by calling and things like that. All right. Okay, so sensitivity, right? We're in Virgo moon. So it's like if you text someone or call someone and they don't answer or pick up, then like sensitive energy could be like taking it personally when really they were just busy, right? Something like that. Okay, so watch out for that Virgo moon. So you may at those times want to feel like you're not in control. So maybe... Um, Go in cleaning and organizing mode, right? And be mindful of like your digestion and your digestive system. Are you really relaxing while you're eating, right? And are you really connecting with the food where you could just uh, really enjoy it and really slow down the pace of ingesting whatever it is, right? Yeah, and it may feel like slow energy and then fast energy. That was coming up in the last reading. And so love life can be that way too. Okay. But all this is bringing you into your own power. Now you may do that thing, you know, um, that's coming up again. Um, that indigenous, um, what is it? Like from Bali. Is it Bali? Okay. It's like doing, sticking your tongue out and going, ha, like that. Whatever that is. I'll have to look it up. Okay. Uh, rooster. Now, what is, are you allowing uh, to peck at you or poke at you, right? Oh, I feel like that represents some Geminis. So that's soulmate energy. Is there, um, this could be like soul contract. What's, oh, Virgo had that. What's bugging you? Uh, or is, what was that? It was like, is a Virgo bugging you or something like that? That was yesterday. Okay. But it's like, is there, it may not be Virgo. I feel like that's the Virgo moon. Okay, is there something, was there something getting ready to bug you in the Virgo moon? And you could trump that because you have control over your own energy and what you ingest in mind and food stuff. Now here is the purification energy, waterfall. Okay, so cleansing and cleansing. Yeah, it's like continuation of raising your own energy so that if you're in a collective, it would be like collective raising their energy so that they're not an energetic match to uh, certain energies. Right? Okay, messages. Okay, here's that desert thing that came up in the... Okay, so that could be like the journey to Pluto retrograde, May, beginning of May, and then boom. Okay, so it's like uh, the everything comes together and then there's movement. Okay, and this was coming up in the other reading too. It was like stay grounded, stay grounded while uh, being in love. Okay, so it's like... That way you can see from all perspectives, right? Yeah, and I feel like this journey is to bring in healing so that you can go higher. Woo! 
Lotus Root was showing up in the other reading, so opening. So it's like opening the heart space. Following your intuition as you move along. Cat cow. And that'll bring in the grace. Let's get a, a spark of grace. Offer love to those who may seem hard to love. Thank a person who has helped you. Collect quotes that are good for the soul. Do one thing each day just for you. Practice patience. All right, so let's see. Let's get love messages here. All right, so what is going on with the love thing? I feel like that's in the background. <laughs> Game of love. Okay. Body positive. Love secret and balance in unity. So that could be like Libra, Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius. Keeping things, things simple when they co get complicated during Virgo moon <laughs> in your mind and loving yourself, right? Okay, so I feel like, yeah, there's going to be times when you connect with people and I feel like the main focus it keeps saying is like, um, it, it, it's like you've got other focus going on right now. Okay. And so it's like you're building up to something. Okay. Let's see what... And I feel like whatever you're doing for work, it's um, also soulmate energy. So it's like that's... Uh, for some of you, that's like imp imp just as important. Okay. It's collective stuff. Okay, what is this? You are like the cypress in the meadow, and I am your devoted shadow. I am sheltered in your shade under a canopy of roses. And that, <laughs> I might have to just call this the bonus reading, because that is exactly what the last reading was. This, okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can focus this. Every seed will sprout above the ground and form that source. Fresh stems will grow. If a few branches wither and dry, the rest will bear fruit. Okay, so that was in the reading too. It's like letting the stuff that you don't need anymore fall away and then move. It's like it was lightening the load. So, so organizing can do that too, right? Releasing in your mind what you don't need. That frees up space. Within the body, the soul remains pure. As we release our attachments, the purity expands. I've gone beyond the self. I've soared beyond the limits of time. I've traveled to eternity. I've taken a strange form. Yeah, so it's like... Sometimes when you get in that five energy, right, uh, it's like you even look different and feel different and, you know, things can happen. <laughs> You're like, who is that in the mirror, right? Okay. So it's like returning to self-love. 
Love whispers promises to lovers, offering them splendor of roses. Okay, so that's what I feel like. There is a love here. Okay, here's one. Accept the refusal of the beloved. Don't plead for affection. Witness how the beloved uh, freely comes your way. You are in the ear. You are in the mind. You are in every burning heart. What am I saying? You are I. So that's like unity energy. Okay, so I feel like that's what it, it feels like, collective energy. And this is that Pluto purification. Oh, dear one, don't run away from the heat of the fire. What would happen if you risk it all and take a step into the flame? So that, I feel like, is the process. And it's like requiring a certain degree of letting go. And that was the first card, I think, out in the last read. So this is just a bonus, I would say. You'll sweeten every sour. You'll become the, clo the close to every far. You'll be no shade to the light. When, li uh, okay, light, when, like the universe, you expand to the infinite. I leave with that.